Everton kicked off. Sheffield in white. Jimmy McCallyog in possession. Off an Everton player, he shot, found the net. Goal for Wednesday. Merseyside fans thought their idols had equalised when Alex Young netted, but he was offside. In high spirits, Wednesday continued through the dying seconds of the first half, still ahead by one goal. Wednesday kicked off on the resumption, and the great crowd soon sensed that it was going to be a tremendous second half. In brilliant form, Springett dealt with that one. For the Sheffielders, team and supporters, it was the peak of excitement when David Ford scored Wednesday's second goal. It would have been understandable if Everton had wilted at this stage. They did exactly the opposite. From now on, they were a team inspired. Mike Trebilko beat Spring it with a fine shot. Again, it was the 21-year-old Trebilko who scored to make it 2-0. Not even a cup final can prevent the Goodison Park spirit invading Wembley. That Bobby ought to be playing at Twickenham. Yeah. Everton put every ounce they had into a winning effort. They were twice the team they'd been in the first half. That speedy left winger, Derek Temple, had a great chance and made no mistake. What a dramatic change had come over this astonishing game. Sheffield were now a goal in arrears. There seemed to be nothing they could do about it. Victory to Everton and the Cup, presented by Princess Margaret. What more fitting now than the roar of Wembley to end this day?